Okay, so here's the speedy rundown. My name's Connor Tchaikovsky. I'm a 20-year-old violinist in my junior year at Rice University Shepherd School of Music studying violin. Um, on Thursday, August 26th, late at night, I got a positive COVID test. I woke up the next morning and saw the test and was reached out to by Rice's crisis management team. And they moved me from my dorm room in McMurtry Residential College to a new room in Jones Residential College. That same Friday, I reached out to all my friends on Instagram and I had them pick a Paganini Caprice for me. And I was going to have seven days to learn it and record it for everyone. Paganini's fifth Caprice won by popular majority. And um, that Saturday, I set out and started working. Over the next week, I had online classes. I was isolating, was practicing. Um, and luckily, I stayed entirely asymptomatic uh, for the whole quarantine period. I recorded different parts of my week, so I'm going to share those video clips first before I get to my final recording. So I got my dinner tonight. Uh, it has tomorrow's breakfast in it. I thought I'd try it now for you because it's so interesting. So it's called Bake Crafters. We're on a roll. It's kind of cold actually, so I'm going to microwave it. Hmm. Uh, I'm still asymptomatic, so today I went and got tested again, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm not even sure if I tested negative, like if I'd be let out of quarantine early or how it would work, but... It's like 8 a.m. on day like five or something. So I got retested 48 hours ago. I'm still completely asymptomatic. So I was like, there's no way I have COVID. This has to be like false positive. So I got my test results back for my second COVID test and it came back positive again, which means I guess I definitely do have COVID, but um, also, yeah, there's no getting out of this anytime soon. So got to keep working on Paganini. Got to keep hanging out in this bedroom. Uh, yep. We've got a nice Texas downpour happening. My couch is left. <laughs> it's just dripping wet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's day five, and I'm gonna run the piece just as a checkup on it. I have a lesson this afternoon, so I'm gonna have to do the same then. They um, cooked me up something particularly special for dinner tonight, so I wanted to share it with you. First off, it came in a typical soggy, squished um, paper container. At least it's not plastic, you know, that's environmentally friendly. And you can see I've dutifully done my best with it, but um, we've got some cheesy spaghetti, and it looks like there's little jalapeno chunks in there. Then you've got some black beans here and rice. So um, as you can tell, I did my best to eat the rice, uh, but I think I'm gonna call it quits on this. It's Friday. I've got one more day of quarantine after this. Um, I'm probably gonna have to shave soon and you can hear Old Town Road in the background because uh, it's raining but there's still a big like outdoor afternoon party happening on the Martell sun deck across from me so I'm just hanging out finishing up Paganini 
uh, doing some work. Because all of my food has had to be in like disposable packaging, I've amassed like a great amount of different plastics, uh, cardboard, stuff like that, that um, is unfortunately gonna go to waste. I've got the wall nice and clear now, I'm trying to get as much light as possible. Um, and then I set up my camera and did this kind of janky thing, unideal. I'd rather have my zoom up high facing downwards, but I think this is the best I can do. I'm <laughs> sorry. 